Hey guys, welcome to another Porta Vallarta Adam Ventures video. Today we are going to a place that I've wanted to go for quite a while. So this place that I want to go to, first, before you can get there, you have to come to Mismaloya Beach. Beautiful, beautiful Mismaloya Beach. Mismaloya is a tiny little town with a beautiful beach that's just a 20 minute drive south of Puerto Vallarta. There's a bus you can hop on at this Oxo for just 10 pesos, that's 50 cents, and you're there. To get to where we're going, you have to walk all the way to the end of the beach and then up the stairs. We played with this puppy for a bit and then took some time to just soak in the beautiful scenery and watch the pelicans go hunting for fish. This is my new friend. He works at Paddle Zone. He's a really cool guy and he gave me some paddleboard lessons. I've paddleboarded before, but never in the ocean with big waves like this. And it was a lot harder than it looks. So this place that I'm going to today, you guessed it, is Los Arcos, right back there. It's gonna be super fun. We're gonna kayak there, but first doing a little bit of paddle boarding. I'm not very good at this, I keep falling. <laughs> After a few last minute preparations to the kayaks, we were ready to go. I was telling Adam that I'm glad we're not alone. Otherwise I'd be really afraid to be out here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was a big one. So most people probably go to Los Arcos during the day, you know, chill on the beach, hang out for the warm weather and stuff. We're going at night. It's a little cold. It's cooled down a bit. Um, we're getting this awesome sunset, but the main reason we're going at night actually is because there's bioluminescing plankton there at night so i guess uh i think it's supposed to like light up when we move around in the water and stuff should be really really cool i can't wait to check it out so is this uh wavier than it normally is it is yeah a little wavier yeah but it normally becomes calmer when we way back ah yeah yeah nice we've done a lot of paddling we've gotten closer it's gotten a lot darker the sky's gotten darker Whew. but the rocks are a lot bigger from here Oh yeah, there are birds up there, aren't there? Oh yeah, the little danglies over there. So this is just beautiful. We got a sunset here. We got the main rock right there behind us. These birds are like perching up in the trees right there. I don't know how well you can see that because it's pretty dark. We got them circling ahead, circling up above. And then we got this other sneaky island here that you can't even see from the shore. I had no idea that was there. So right in front of us here, we have Turtle Island. I think you'll be able to see why. There's even a little mouth. Man, that's so cool, it looks exactly like a turtle. Once we got to Los Arcos, well, let me back up actually and give you some context. Los Arcos is a group of five islands just off of Mismaloya Beach and is actually the number one visited place for tourists that are coming to Puerto Vallarta. Several of these islands have large arches in them and during the day these islands are crowded with boats and there's actually a beach that you can hang out on if you come during low tide. Los Arcos also has a coral reef so it's supposed to be one of the best spots for snorkeling and scuba diving when you come to Puerto Vallarta. Once it got super dark, the bioluminescence in the water lit up bright green and it was super neat, but you're actually gonna have to check it out for yourself because it was too dark for the camera to pick up. But the highlight of this trip was paddling through the big arc when it's pitch dark and all the bats in there are flying around and the waves in there get really big and just push you through. But once you're through, you immediately have to turn to the right. Otherwise, you're going to get washed up into the rocky shore, and you don't want that. It was an absolute adrenaline-filled blast that I did not expect. The company we came out here to do this with is called Paddle Zone. It's actually a small family business that was started five years ago, and they run these kayaking and paddleboard tours out to Los Arcos just about every single day at both sunrise and sunset. We are back. We made it back. Do you have any words? Oh my gosh, it was really fun. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of tired though right now. <laughs> yeah. Late. It was, it was a lot of paddling, a lot of paddling. But the um, the plankton was really cool. The bioluminescent plankton was like really, really neat. And um, paddling back in the dark was fun and like the waves and oh yeah, good times, good times. I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry about you. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Couldn't really see the bioluminescence on the camera. I'm sure it didn't come through. It was just a little too dark, but very, very cool experience. We also saw some jumping fish. 
Hadley, how what did you think of the jumping fish? Oh my gosh, my worst nightmare. <laughs> I'm so afraid of fish. Also, I'm wearing these cute pants. <laughs> Thanks, Adam, for uh, dressing me. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Her clothes got sopping wet, so yeah, I'm she's sure wearing. You bring a change of clothes. Yeah, I definitely want to bring a change of clothes when you do this tour, but highly recommend it. It was an absolute blast. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.